With me now, Republican National Committee spokesperson Lindsey Walters. Lindsey, as we all know, you know, you perform first and you speak second, uh, but this is pretty ironic for Debbie Wasserman Schultz, is it not? It is pretty ironic. You know, tonight, the Dems theme tonight is unity, and we're seeing the exact opposite out there. As you just played that clip, there have been several boos this morning. Debbie Washman Schultz was booed out of her breakfast. She had to be escorted out by security. You have Bernie Sanders delegates and supporters who are saying they will never vote for Hillary Clinton. We're not seeing unity at all on the Democrat side today, especially heading into their convention after hearing what's going on on the floor right now. So let me ask you this, Lindsay. Speaking of unity or lack thereof, former VP Al Gore is skipping the convention. I just, for contextual purposes, want to note for everybody, he also skipped to 2012. He obviously has been known more for his environmental push than political push, but yet he is a super delegate and he has yet to endorse Hillary Clinton. Is that another sign to you or do you think the next generation of voters may not even know really that much about him? I think right now voters are focused on what they're seeing happen here at the convention in Philadelphia. We've seen more protests in the last two days than we did in all of Cleveland. And as I said earlier, you have Sanders supporters who feel disenfranchised right now coming off of the heels of the email scandal over at the DNC that forced Debbie Wasserman Schultz to resign. You have supporters who believed that the scales were being tipped against them and now have proof of that through these emails. And so there is a lot of disunity here in Philadelphia heading into this convention. And you can see the DNC and the Clinton campaign scrambling to try and correct it. Tonight they added a last minute speaker to their program who is a Bernie Sanders supporter. There's a lot of question is, you know, was that individual added as an opportunity to kind of create some calm and throw a bone to the Bernie Sanders supporters to ease what is happening right now at the convention? So Congressman Kucinich was a guest with me about 20 minutes ago and he said, you know what, uh, Senator Kane may have to be replaced. Senator Sanders may have to be added to the ticket. Is anybody around you even floating or discussing that idea? You know, I think with Senator Kane, we've said from the beginning he's a career politician, he's an establishment pick, and that he was not going to appeal to the Bernie Sanders supporters. The issues that they care about, Kane does not represent. The Bernie Sanders supporters are on the far left of the Democrat spectrum and Kane is a career politician who's been in politics his entire life and it's not going to feed the need that they had. Yeah, indeed, as you said, uh, unity is going to be a hard theme to sell tonight unless they pull some rabbits out of a hat. Lindsay Walters, thank you so much.